After pouring countless hours into research, attending seminars, and learning through trial and error, I've discovered the secrets to achieving financial literacy without relying on anyone else. So get ready to take control of your financial future, because with the knowledge I'm about to impart, nothing can hold you back. I remember the day when I realized that my financial situation was not as good as it should be. I was living paycheck to paycheck, struggling to pay off my debts and never having any savings. I knew I had to do something about it, but I didn't know where to start. That's when I stumbled upon the concept of financial literacy. At first, it seemed like a foreign concept to me. I had never heard of financial literacy before. But as I dug deeper, I realized that it was simply about understanding how money works and how to manage it effectively. I started to educate myself by reading books and articles, attending workshops, and listening to podcasts. I learned about budgeting, saving, investing, and building credit. Now, looking on my personal experience with financial literacy, I used to think that financial literacy was only for the wealthy or those who studied finance in college. I never thought that it was something that I could achieve on my own. But one day, I decided to take control of my finances and started learning about financial literacy. It was not an easy journey, but with perseverance and determination, I was able to improve my financial situation. Before we dive into how I was able to achieve financial literacy, it's important to understand that financial literacy refers to the knowledge and skills needed to make informed and effective decisions about money. As I think back to my journey towards financial literacy, one of the most important steps I took was learning to budget and live within my means. It wasn't easy at first, I had to give up some of my favorite things, like eating out and buying new clothes all the time. But over time, I realized that being disciplined with my money was worth it. One practical tip that I found helpful was to track all of my expenses in a spreadsheet or budgeting app. This allowed me to see exactly where my money was going and identify areas where I could cut back. I also made a conscious effort to prioritize my spending putting essential expenses like rent and bills first and saving any extra money for emergencies or long-term goals. It wasn't an overnight transformation, but slowly but surely, I began to see the benefits of living within my means. I felt more in control of my finances, and I was able to start saving for things that mattered to me, like traveling and investing in my future. And even though there were still occasional setbacks and unexpected expenses, I had the skills and confidence to navigate them without throwing my finances off track. As I continued my journey towards financial literacy, I realized that budgeting and saving were crucial components. I had to take control of my spending habits and make a conscious effort to save money. The first step was to create a budget. I sat down and wrote out all my expenses, from rent and groceries to entertainment and eating out. I made sure to include everything, no matter how small. Then, I calculated my monthly income and subtracted my expenses to see how much I had left over. I quickly realized that I was spending more than I was earning. This was a wake-up call for me. I needed to cut back on my expenses and find ways to save money. So. I started looking for areas where I could cut costs. One of the easiest ways to save money was to cook my meals at home instead of eating out. I also cancelled my subscription services that I didn't use and negotiated lower rates for my utilities. I even started walking to work instead of taking a cab. Another important step was to set up automatic savings. I created a separate savings account and set up automatic transfers from my checking account each month. This helped me save money without even thinking about it. Through these small changes, I was able to take control of my finances and start saving money. It wasn't easy, but it was worth it in the end. Budgeting and saving gave me a sense of empowerment and control over my finances. So, if you're looking to improve your financial literacy, start by creating a budget and finding ways to save money. It may take some time and effort, but it's worth it in the long run. As I continued to educate myself on financial literacy, 
I realized that investing is a crucial component to building long-term wealth. It can seem daunting at first, but with some knowledge and research, anyone can become an investor. I started by learning about the different types of investments available, such as stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and real estate. Each has its own level of risk and potential return, so it's important to understand the differences and decide what works best for your financial goals. I also learned about the importance of diversification, which means spreading your investments across different types and sectors to minimize risk. By not putting all my eggs in one basket, I could reduce the impact of any one investment underperforming. Another key aspect of investing is understanding the power of compounding. This means that as your investments grow, the earnings are reinvested, which then generates more earnings. Over time, this compounding effect can result in significant growth. Of course, investing involves some risk, and there are no guarantees of success. However, with a well-informed approach and a long-term perspective, investing can be a powerful tool for building wealth. I started small by investing in low-cost index funds and gradually built up my portfolio. I also made sure to continually educate myself and stay informed about market trends and economic conditions. It takes time and patience, but investing for the future can pay off in the long run. Throughout these chapters, I've shared with you my journey towards achieving financial literacy. I've talked about how to build a strong financial foundation by creating a budget, tracking expenses, and reducing debt. We've also discussed the importance of developing good financial habits, such as saving regularly and setting financial goals. Remember, financial literacy is a journey, not a destination. It's an ongoing process of learning, adapting, and improving. And the best part is, it's something that you can achieve on your own, with no one else's help. So don't wait any longer, start your journey towards financial literacy today.